When it comes to taking care of its own, the Canadian forces are second to none. They know the problems created by postings involving long and frequent family separation. That is why they're committed to providing services for the well-being of not only their members, but their members' families as well. Well, we've got a huge variety of uh, services and resources. Um, there are all different kinds of elements to the programs. So my job basically is working with the families, the military families who have um, a military members deployed overseas. Basically, I try to provide resources and services to these families. A lot of uh, the difficulties for families is obviously keeping in touch with a family member who's away on a regular basis. So we do have a, um, a video teleconference, um, I guess you'd call it machine. Usually the uh, spouse will um, initiate the contact from this end. It's much easier for the um, initiating address from the, the base to um, contact the member over in Kabul. The city of Belleville is located on the Bay of Quinte in southeastern Ontario. In a city of almost 49,000 people, there's always a constant hustle and bustle during the day. But what about when the city sleeps? I set out one night to find the answers to the question of who or what makes the magic happen. Along my journey, I ran into some interesting people that work through the night hours, and they all had a story to tell. Youth today face many challenges, including self-esteem, peer pressure, and acceptance. One group in particular meet here every Tuesday at St. Thomas Church to tackle these challenges. Say Out Loud stands for Support Alternative Youth um, Out Loud. So it's to bring a visibility to a, a, a minority, a sexual minority in particular, people who are queer and questioning. We meet every Tuesday night, so it's a pretty regular kind of long-term mm -hmm. youth group. We have between 15 and 25 on a Tuesday night, um, and that's been pretty steady for the last year and a half, two years, um, which is quite a difference from when the group first started and there was maybe five or six. Military deployment and training missions often mean long stretches away from home. Family separation can make an uneasy situation even more stressful. Canadian Forces members in Trenton have one less worry knowing that their loved ones have the support of the Military Family Resource Centre. Quinty View visited the MFRC to find out more about how this volunteer-based organization helps the spouses and children of our men and women in uniform. Military Family Resource Centre has helped me because it's given me a place to come with my daughter and I also have a son who's four and uh, we are able to come here and uh, usually on uh, a couple of days a week provides a place for uh, camaraderie, friendship, good conversation and the kids can play in a safe environment. My name is Patty Clark. I own two businesses with my husband John, Bathtub King Refinishing and Bath Solutions of Peterborough. Uh, we cover everything from tub and tile refinishing, custom bath wall systems and acrylic tub liners, as well as major bathroom renovations. brochure uh, is called Kentucky Holidays and it's great for college students. We highly recommend it because they're escorted tours that offer either camping trips or hotels but it's for 18 to 35 so perfect age group for you. My name is Mary LaRock and I'm the owner of Marlin Travel. We are a full service travel agency and we offer vacation packages, cruises, hotels, cars, travel insurance and so much more.
wonderful day of adventure and customer service? You know, sometimes you're as sarcastic as I am. Impressive. You should totally buy a bouquet of flowers. That stuff always works. How does that ever work? You've never had a girlfriend. The hat is part of the uniform. You wear it. Mr. McManus? No, sir. I cannot give you a discount on the TV, even if you do give me four coupons to a car wash. So how's your day going? Oh, decent enough. No super annoying customers. My boss isn't ragging on me, so all in all, pretty good day. You? Eh, the usual. <laughs> that bad? Well, my sales have been good. I've only had one crazy old man in it. The man spends all day yelling at me about stupid things aren't even my job. It's like he takes pride in making me want to yell at Sorry, I was held up by a customer on the way over here. Yes, that sounds like something you would do. You! Stupid! Hi, Sarah. Look, I don't really know what happened today, but I do know we need to talk about it. Totally. I know I've been a little bit crazy lately. Do you want to come over to my place and talk about it? Yeah, sure. I'll be there in time. Okay, bye. All you ever do is criticize me. You want to know another thing? As a matter of fact, you want tough crap, all right? You had your turn to talk. It's my turn now. Every day, I sell tens of thousands of dollars worth of equipment, and what does that get me? Huh? A mediocre paycheck. And what does that get you? Nice big fat bonus, all right? So you know what? Next time you're sitting at home watching your big screen TV on your nice leather couch, think about all the people that you stepped on to get there. Oh, I almost forgot. I quit. Um, I won't be asking for a reference, so you know, just go ahead and. All your issues out here. Oh, have a nice day.